Some jobs just suck the life out of you. And for Redfield, being Count Dracula's personal assistant for 90 years is, well, tough. And he's done. Stick a fork in him. But there is hope. Renfield actually joins a self-help group and gets the courage to make a break from Dracula. You would think this movie is pretty hokey, but uh, we have Kathy Kaiser here with us today to review it. Kathy, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Of course. And this is a pretty cool rendition. I mean, some great stars. You have two Nicholases. It's Nick Squared, Nicholas Cage, <laughs> and Nicholas Holt, who plays Renfield. What did you like about this movie? Oh, my God. It is so much fun. Like, who thought that you could bring bring Dracula into the yes. 21st century. And they and do it, be, it so well. They do it so <laughs> well. It's incredible. Yeah. You know, I think the codependency, mm -hmm. maybe a lot of us have relationships mm -hmm. like that, that we're trying to get through. It kind of reflects the issues Modern that we're day, dealing with right? in society today, right? <laughs> right? You want to break away, leave that, you know, codependence. Though, right? That's, can you imagine? No. Oh my <laughs> goodness. No, and I, even love like with the way his clothes change mm -hmm. through the process yeah. of him trying to break free yeah. from Dracula. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's like a, a, a caterpillar breaking out of its cocoon, exactly. becoming a beautiful butterfly. And you actually got to sit down with the director, Chris McKay, about casting Nicolas Cage. Let's take a quick look. How do you decide to make Nicolas Cage Dracula, I guess, is my question. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, when you're, 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 you're oftentimes in, in situations like this for a studio movie, you're given lists. You know, you're basically right. giving a list of, you know, breathing actors between, <laughs> you know, a certain age, right? right? Um, right. And, uh, and, and there's a lot of people who could do a great job playing Dracula and have a lot of fun. I think for me, I had to put myself in the position of an audience member who was going to, you know, go, you know, you know, drop their money on a on a night at the movies, and who's the person that you actually have to see play Dracula? Who's the person you you know who you know ho you know hopefully somebody who's a movie star, somebody who's got name recognition that you're going that you want to see, you're hungry to see interpret Dracula, and, I, and Nick Cage is that is that person for me? Where I was like, that's the guy I want to see what he's going to do. He's going to give you the most unique, the most fun. He's obviously can do comedy, but he's also can do drama. And he can be very menacing when he needs to be i mean if you look at the range of things he's done with his career he's just you know he's just he's a guy who's done everything and he's just he's such there's such a joy when you're working with him he loves making movies he's so enthusiastic when he's on set um you know he's just a, he's a really great guy he's brought a lot of you know like heart you know in some ways to dracula i mean you know dracula's obviously a narcissist he's clearly like uh not a good guy but when he does when he is when he feels betrayed by Renfield, you really do see kind of his heartbreak a little bit, and Cage could bring that that level that that level of everything to the table, and that was really important to me. And he's yeah, he's a great partner. We love working with Cage. Everything that he was saying, I mean, we know Nicholas is Cage's history, and right, right? this right. is like the perfect role for him. And this gets pretty gory. There's Body parts flying everywhere, blowing up. Graphic violence. Just right? a little, but how many popcorns would you give this one? I gave it four out of five. Nice. Okay, we will take four out of five I was popcorns. Not anticipating that either. Mm -hmm. It exceeded your expectations. It absolutely did. Now let's talk about something that did not <laughs> exceed your expectations. I mean, we're looking at another film. It's actually on Amazon. It's called Maybe I Do. Let's take a quick look. She's throwing it to Michelle. Michelle catches the flowers. You get married next. Your life's all set. I grew up wondering if I would be able to stand in front of someone and promise her the rest of my life. But here we are. It was a reflex action. It was the most awful moment in the whole history of women being stuck with you idiots. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Now, what were you thinking about this film while you were watching it? Well, I was thinking it should be really good. We're mm. talking Richard Gere, Susan Sarandon, yeah. William H. Macy, Diane Keaton, right? And their children are, you know, struggling through their relationship. Mm. She wants to get married. He's not quite sure, maybe mm. from the relationship he's seen from his parents. I was anticipating lots of fun, yeah. lots of star power. This movie was downright awful. 
It was a dud? It was a dud. Oh, was, brother. It did not bring any of my expectations oh. to the screen. Well, sometimes too much star power can be just a little too much, don't That's you think? Right. That's right. <laughs> okay, well, how many popcorns would you give this? Is it even worth watching while you're folding the clothes? Or? No, I... I I spent five dollars to watch it, even, and I would not do that again. So five dollars not out of five. well spent. No, wow, one out of five popcorn. Okay, well, St. Louis, we're not telling you what not to watch, but hey, this critic is saying mm, maybe, maybe not so much. Maybe not this one. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, St. Louis, if you're at home and you're always looking for something to watch, you're a movie geek, a movie buff, all you have to do is follow Kathy Kaiser online on social media. She will keep you up to date and in the know on what's hitting the big screen. You can find her online on Facebook. It's Matinee Chat with Kathy Kaiser. And you can show her some love on Twitter as well. Kathy, we look forward to seeing you here every Thursday to keep us in the loo with all of the action in Hollywood. I nope. love doing it. <laughs> Me too. These are always fun. Don't go anywhere, St. Louis. We'll be right back after this quick break.